Welcome to Wake Up New Zealand. I'm Juan. And I'm Ryan. In today's stories, a new crime wave is sweeping the country in the form of wooden graffiti. Scientists have invented an invisibility cloak and we help them find it. To end the latest weather update. But first, if you think the world is getting more and more topsy-turvy, it turns out you're right. Builders in Germany have built an upside-down house, which rests on its roof. Inside, there are beds screwed into the ceiling, upside-down wardrobes, an upside-down kitchen, and even an upturned bathroom. We cross now to our reporter, George. Thanks. I'm here with Gabby, the owner of this upside-down house, and Zoe, the builder. What, first of all, what made you decide to build this upside-down house? Well, you don't normally see an upside down house, so why not build one? So, yeah. I wanted to do something extraordinary, something unusual and outside the box. So I built an upside down house. What's your favorite thing about living in an upside down house? Well, being strapped to the bed, what do you think? The water always flows to the roof, which is the wrong way, and I find that kind of cool. Second of all, what are some challenging things about living in an upside-down house? Um, it's hard to shower. When you're cooking, all the food falls out of your pan, so you have to always re-cook. Well, thank you for joining us. Back to you, Ryan and Kwan. Now, for stories that is truly out of sight, scientists in Europe have created an invisibility cloak which can hide objects by bending light waves. However, since inventing the invisibility cloak, scientists have been having trouble finding it. The inventor says, as soon as we put it down somewhere, it just disappears. Hoping to see through the reasons behind the invisibility cloak, here's our reporter, Jackson. Hello, I'm Jackson, and with me is Nikos and Sophia, the, the people behind the invisibility cloak. We have a few questions for you guys, so I hope you guys don't mind answering them. So, what made you want to invent an invisibility cloak? Um, we wanted to be scientists and it's something never been alone because before, done before and <laughs> one step closer to be a scientist. Did you add anything? Yes. So how we made it was we got the particles in the air and then combined it with rice and then put lava in it and then it blows up and then turns into an invisibility blanket. Very fascinating. Why did you guys invent it? Um, to sneak around people. We just wanted to make something. And one quick last thing. Can I try it? Yes. Hmm. Fascinating. Okay, um... It seems very clear. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Jackson. Next up, there's a new wave of graffiti is covering the country. Thanks to an underground gang known as the Midnight Knitters. Without permission, these woolly criminals are covering the branches and lampposts with jerseys and scarves in the dead of night. Police say we are stitching together a case, but there is no real pattern to the crimes. We cross now to Layla with an exclusive interview. Thanks, Juan. I'm Layla, and joining me is the members of Midnight Knitters Gang. Hi, George and Gabby, and thanks for joining us. What led you into the dark underworld of knitted graffiti? Well, I just wanted to do something different. Like, I didn't want to do it with spray cans anymore, so I decided to do it with wool instead. Do you guys see yourself as a criminal? No, not not really because it's wool and wool never hurt anyone, did it? Apart from trees and lampposts, what else do you guys like to do graffiti with? On tunnels and buildings and stuff like that. Thanks guys for joining us. Back to you guys at the news desk. Well, at least there'll be one if they get caught and go to jail. Now, let's have a look at the weather up and down the country with the, the Isaac and sorry, Watson Star. Thanks, Ryan. Let's have a look at tomorrow's weather. 
In Auckland, you'll be a fear met so f- fear can get sh- and, and, and fear can but it's your conditions and you'll just have to accept them. Uh, there will be no weather at all for Hamilton. It's taking a short holiday but is expected to be back for the weekend. Wellington will have enough for traffic today with no wind at all, so keep calm and carry on. Christchurch will be cold and unfriendly until late morning. Then the sun will pop over for a visit. Everybody likes the sun. Yeah, it's so for me, now it's back to your news desk. Thanks, Zoe. Finally, it's time for Two Minutes with Devin, who is talking to an unusual world champion. Over to you, Devin. I'm going to report the greatest liar, Kavish. We have four questions for him. Question one, are you, do you always lie, or is it just when you're competing? I always lie. I like lying. It's kind of like my job now. Oh, really? Question two. Do you lie all the time, or is it just... <laughs> uh, t- t- wait. <laughs> What's the most outrageous lie you've ever told? My sister stole one of my chicken nuggets, so I told her I was going to go get some milk. Do you lie all the and time? I never came back. <clears throat> Have you ever lied to Devin? Oh, I've been lying to him this whole time. Wait, never mind. <laughs> okay. If you had to lie about the, if you had to tell us the biggest lie you ever told, what would it be? Uh, I like jazz. Okay, that's an obvious lie. That's two minutes with me, Devin. Going back to the news desk. Well, that's all we have time for. We hope you've enjoyed today's show. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you again next time. Until then, I'm Ryan. And I'm Juan for Wake Up New Zealand. Goodbye!